Second Amendment supporters. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the second annual Second Amendment Freedom Rally. Last year about this time, wait a minute, since last year about this time, we've had many issues in the state of Illinois. Number one, our former governor, corrupt, self-serving, is no longer with us. He's no longer around to embarrass this state as much as he did these past few months. And now he's under federal indictment. So stay tuned. Next year, his trial starts June 3rd. Might want to, might want to put it on the calendar. Our former senator is now our president. Our present senator is, well, let's just say he's under scrutiny. And another Chicago alderman is under federal indictment. And the mayor of this city is playing a losing game of monopoly by selling off all the assets of this great city piece by piece. The police in this city, they're understaffed, short over 2,000 members. Been working without a contract for over two years. And they happen to work under a chief of police who has not a clue about anything dealing with this city and fighting crime or public safety. People in this city are not safe, and something needs to be done about it now. It amazes me how quick aldermen in the city council are quick to act on non-issues. Four broad bands, red light traffic schools, driving with cell phones, and dogs and cats still having their reproductive organs. Hmm. Could it be they feel threatened by cats and dogs having their reproductive organs, being that the mayor is taking theirs away? <laughs> the mayor of this city has run roughshod over us for far too long. We pay the highest taxes, but get the absolute worst services. While he and his family have around the clock police protection. We are left to fend for ourselves with tongue depressors, whistles, a 911 call that may or may not go through, and non functioning blue light cameras. Yeah, the cameras in the city amaze me. The only ones that seem to work are the ones that can give you a ticket. The ones that solve crime, they don't work. Forty-eight states have concealed carry laws. Why not Illinois? Because corrupt politicians and criminals fear an armed citizen. Here in Illinois, corrupt politicians and criminals have pretty much become synonymous. Here in Chicago, my people are dying at a sickening rate. I find this appalling, unnecessary, and just absolutely evil. The time for candle lighting, marching, holding vigils is over. It is time we stand up and remind these politicians who they work for, us. Not what they work for, bribes and kickbacks. I have concealed carry permits from three states, Florida, Utah, and Pennsylvania. I don't pay taxes in those states, yet I have more freedom there than I do in the one in which I live. We have all heard the empty rhetoric from the anti-Second Amendment side and all the lies and made-up data about guns and gun owners who carry concealed you can fill a book, a book with all the misinformation they have. Hey, well, you can probably find it in your library. Just look in the fairy tale section. <laughs> Every day, law-abiding citizens use firearms to stop crime in this country. That info is not widely reported as it should be, but it happens. 
Criminals in this city have been getting a pass for far too long. The prosecutors in this city, they will give a murderer a plea bargain, reduce sentence just to get a conviction, just to make their future political aspirations that much brighter. While these same urban terrorists are back in our neighborhoods, a short time later, killing, raping, robbing, stealing from the tired, under siege taxpayers of this city. There are two documents that support our cause, the Constitution and the Bible. The Second Amendment is plain as day. Yeah, we have people who will try and misinterpret it, 